So how's it going? Okay, here and now, here we are. And uh, tomorrow is going to be uh, another uh, vigil at the Jewish Community Campus in Montreal here. And we're launching a petition for Jewish people to sign calling for a ceasefire. And uh, basically, you know, uh, you know, taking an anti-Zionist position. So we're looking for, you know, hardcore uh, Jewish people now on the line there and uh, to build a movement. Now we're into, you know, a movement building time because it's going to take, a, you know, a much more serious Jewish movement to stop the Zionist regime from, uh, from bombing Gaza, even though they've uh, decreased the, uh, the number of, you know, uh, murders that they're committing every day now has, has been decreased now from about 200 a day to about 20 a day with exceptions, like Christmas Day was 200 a day. So uh, we'll see what happens. Okay. So what are we going to, so what, 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 what is the, what is the feeling about the consequences for these massacres by the, by the Israeli government? What gets me is the massacres are never accounted for. I haven't uh, seen many parts of the world where the massacres are ever accounted for. And I think this uh, time we need some accountability. Well, South Africa has uh, filed an app, uh, you know, a motion with the International Criminal Court to condemn Israel for violations of uh, international human rights law. So that's happening, you know. How quickly, quickly the International Criminal Court is going to deal with it is another matter. Probably yeah. they, they won't, they'll try to delay, you know, until there's another delay, until there's another delay. That's the way, you know, the ICC works, uh, with the notable exception of their condemnation of of Putin, uh, who was uh, condemned as a criminal, you know, like within a week of the war in uh, Ukraine starting, you know, like he was condemned right away. But Netanyahu, you know, like is uh, still exempt. Well, Putin to me is a criminal like Santa Claus is, is, is a terrorist. That's how I see that. Anyway, um, so, but I'm, I'm saying... One of the things that I have been contemplating the last time since we spoke was the whole status of Israel as a nation and how it maybe doesn't need to exist anymore. And I know that's kind of a radical statement, but since it's, I mean, but that also could, that also could be said for Canada and the United States, these settler regimes, colonial governments, you know, that, that since, since they've existed, all they do is plunder, all they do is murder, all they do is kill. All they do is lie. All they do is be corrupt. It's, I mean, nothing good can be said of that country except, except for the, the, the decent people, the decent people who live there, and there are decent people who live there. Okay, so I'm, I'm, I am going to give them their their due for being decent people. But the governments, the policies, the practices, they're they are barbaric. Mm. This is barbarism we, we're seeing. I don't care if they kill ten a day. I'll give it till one a day. Hmm. This it's, it's barbarism. So hmm. how do we, how do we justify their existence? Hmm. I see what I you mean. mean. You're, you're I mean, referring to the uh, to these just, nations as uh, as the states, as the state. Yeah, I mean, yeah, the state yeah, of Israel, just, you know, yeah, has no yeah. uh, logical uh, reason to exist. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, at, at this at this point, many states don't have a reason to exist. But Israel is a junior state. It's not even hmm. hundred years old. And act like it's the big bully on the block. Mm. Yeah. It's not 100 years old. No, it isn't. Yeah. If it wasn't before today, it wouldn't. It wouldn't even exist. Mm. Well, this is a big test case. Yeah. 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 You know, this is the test case. Like, you know, if uh, the state of Israel can be overcome and replaced with a federation of what I would suppose is a federation of Palestinian and Hebrew nations yeah, in the in social sense, you know, yeah. Um, yeah. if the state is replaced by a federation. Then it becomes a model, you know, to replace the United States of America uh, with a federation of peoples, because, uh, because, because and it, not it, uh, it, territorial administrations, you know, which are the local bourgeoisie in any case. Because yeah. I, I, th I think about the United States government. When do we ever respect the native tribes? When are they ever brought to the to, to, the, to the Congress? When are they ever said they're they're part of the history of the land? This is occupied land. This is stolen land. They're never even acknowledged in any state of the nation address. Nothing. Mm. They're never even talked about. Yeah. So, in, in, so in, in, it's, 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 it's the same thing. 
I mean, I think this is one case we can start saying, how does this government even justify its existence based on its crimes and what it is about with this core existence? Hmm. You want a secular, you you can't have a religious state. I mean, that's just, I don't know, it just, it just bothers me that this conversation isn't being had. I, again, I'll, I'll get the killing 20 a day, 50 a day, they've murdered tens of thousands, probably hundreds of thousands since they've existed. I'm sure the number's pretty damn high. And they're and, continuing. And, it's yeah. not stopping either. Yeah. But, but, so I, I, I'm just, I just want to throw, throw it out there to our listeners that, you know, sometimes we have to question how can a country not exist anymore to, sell, to solve the crimes it has committed? There will be no hearings. There will be no reparations. There will be none for the Palestinians. No, there won't be unless the people of the world demand it. And then what's our vehicle for getting for, for getting them something? Right now, mm-hmm. the U.N. is, a, the UN is, a, is seen to me. I'm going to say the total joke. But on this one, it's kind of too less. They can pass resolutions. That's cool. I mean, I'm wrong, I'm wrong with resolutions. But the Palestinians are still dead. Mm-hmm. They're still being killed. And sometimes they say, what? Do we have to do to stop the killing? That's why I've had my kind of militant positions in the last few shows about mm-hmm. who's going to go to war in Israel. No, but okay, well, the ones going to war go to war in Israel, then what are you going to do? I, I think if see, the IDF soldiers, the, the soldiers are not going to rebel and stop fighting or to, to turn the guns around on their officers and, and the government, if, mm-hmm. if the work class in Israel is not going to stop going to work and say, this has got to stop, you know, what, 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 what's going on wrong? If something else has to happen, I don't know what. Yeah. I think the demonstrations, the, the demonstrations are critical. They're important. They're not useless. We need to have them. But I'm just saying, how does Israel justify its existence based on its so its criminal history, its, its blood up from its from the toes to the shoulders? That's what blood it has on its hand. Mm-hmm. And it just continu- it just continues, man. It, it don't stop. And and that's yeah. what concerns me. You know, and, but I but also the, uh... would say. I mean, yeah. almost, let me, let me, let me, let me, I also would say to to uh, um, uh, Rwanda has the same issue. How is that ever settled? It wasn't settled. Well, we we uh, we got the memorial. Okay, great. People still dead. What's the consequence? Yeah. Or even in Myanmar, people being pushed out and killed. I'm saying, where do you have these mass killings? The Amazon, yeah. same kind of thing. These governments are not held really. To account me the serious punishment. Maybe mm-hmm. you just can't exist no more. We gotta set something else up. You done mm-hmm. messed up, dude. We gotta t- take your guns from you, take your weapons from you. You, you just can't run it no more. I'm not saying what has to happen, but something's gotta change, man. Because these governments are just their disability to do anything they want. Mm-hmm. And if, if it's the Russians, oh, that's terrible. But if, if it's if, if the US, uh, you know, mm-hmm. uh, what are we gonna do? You know, that kind of thing. Anyway. That's yeah. it for me. I'm um, done. <laughs> Israel, could, uh, the state of Israel could be suspended or you know expelled from the United Nations. I mean, there could be an embargo placed around you know Israel so that no more uh, uh, you know I mean uh, uh, bombs you know could be delivered to Israel. You know, like the the Russian uh, navy you know could install itself you know to prevent you know any arms shipments from coming to Israel. There could be you know like an arms embargo imposed, then a no-fly zone you know imposed by the uh, UN with the you know the the red uh, uh, the red army. You know, like air force. You know, coming in there. You know, to stop any further. You know, like a lot of this. You know, can be done. You know, like Turkey could come into it as well, but it doesn't seem like Turkey. You know, is up to it. So, but yeah, you know, you're talking about you know replacing these states, and you know South America has a mechanism now which they're using quite often. You know, in order to reestablish, reform their society into a, a new kind of a country, and they're using a constituent assembly. And uh, it's also called the Constitutional Assembly, in which they, you know, they reconstitute, you know, the society into something new with delegates, you know, from all of civil society. So there's no, you know, like power blocks that control, you know, the assembly. It's actually, you know, the civil society institutions and all of them that come together, you know, to come to consensus of opinion and rewrite the Constitution. It goes into a referendum, not like the right wing referendum in Chile right now, but, you know, from a constituent assembly, not written by some bureaucrat. And uh, and then this is the way to re reformulate a society. I think in North America we would you know have a federation of all of North America, including Mexico and Canada, and then uh, right. have all the First Nations you know represented, and uh, have all the nationalities represented, and have all the 
social formations and gender for, uh, formations and and generational representation. All of these, you know, factors, you know, have to be included in representation for it to be a real constituent assembly. And then we can get somewhere. Yeah, that's the way to go. Yeah. Well, uh, I, I am, I am hopeful that some of our listeners can take this out and run with these ideas because these nations that can just mess over people, commit terrible crimes, just just destroy the environment, um, collude with um, it and international drug drug de drug dealers. I mean, it's just the, the list is pretty 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 bad. It's pretty long, and um, I'm just saying. I I think you talked. We talked about this a few weeks ago. Hmm. Uh, in the sense of an architecture that exists to promote protection for the oppressed. And all we have essentially is either labor labor struggle, by strikes, boycotts, not uh not sharing, not shipping goods to a certain country. We have we have military struggle, our our wars, uh we have economic struggle, boycotts, whatever is gonna get the up to protect and a lot of people to thrive with within the context of humanity, we just gotta do it. Mm -hmm. Because those who have the power don't care that what they're doing is wrong. They think it's right. And they don't care. They don't care yeah. that they they don't care about what harm they inflict. They are like for example, Israel said a couple of days ago, oh, we dropped the wrong kind of bomb on the refugee camp. Well, mm -hmm. good freaking damn. Thank you for telling me you still you dropped the wrong bomb. That's really going to bring their lives back, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Right? You we know, last time we bomb. spoke, yeah, <laughs> uh, last time we spoke, you know, like I was thinking that there could possibly be, you know, a revolt from within the military to refuse to serve yeah. in Gaza, but it hasn't happened. Only we, one, um, one soldier this to, week refused, yeah. you know, to be indicted, you know, to be conscripted right, right, to go to Gaza. Right. One young right. guy. One. Yeah, I saw that. Yeah. One. Yeah. One. Now, uh, one, is it, one, one is important. One is important. Now we need 11 and 22 and 33 and 366, 120. You know, we need that. We need that doubled. You know? I just That's read the, uh, the Israeli protest movement has uh, finally uh, split into something, you know, more reasonable. And uh, there's a new formation called uh, Together which is uh, a joint protest movement of Palestinians and Israelis together, whereas the previous protest movement, you know, for the release of the hostages and for uh, uh, Netanyahu to resign was only Israelis with, you know, tons of, uh, you know, Israel flags all over the place trying to prove their loyalty. Well, there's a new movement now, you know, so that's, you know, a uh, you know, positive development, I think. And, oh, I, uh, I think so. I, I, I think that, there seems to be a what I get a sense of um Dr. Weisfeld is a growing, it may be a, like a trickle in, a trickle down a stream thought that maybe in replacement of Israel as a we need they need a multinational multi ethnic state. To hell with this religious state. We have yeah. it, we have we are like, like you're saying, the Hebrew speaking, Arabic people, we have a constitution, we have a government, we have this, and, and everybody's equal. To hell with this, to hell with this other stuff. Yeah. That to me will be a great step forward. Because all because all this stuff now is based on Zionism. There will be no occupied, there will be no occupied nothing. It's all part yeah. of one country. We 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 build it up, we're all equal. That's that's the law. And that's yeah. that's what I mean. I think that's a great idea. And it, it must improve and much more improvement than what we have now. Yeah. What we have now is no good. Yeah, it's, just no it, it, it's the nation state that is problematic. You know, that's the problem, you know, historical problem. Nation state, you know, which was originally conceived of, you know, by the German philosopher Hegel in 1648 for the Treaty of Westphalia, which established the uh, the state of Germany, a unified German state. And, uh, you know, uh, every other constitutional uh, uh, initiative in Europe, you know, was modeled upon that, you know, to you know, in the midst of the uh, Protestant Reformation, which all these Protestant sects, you know, uh, sprung up on a national basis to justify the national independence of each of their countries. And that's what they call democracy, you know, because it uh, gave the power to uh, 
the people in a, a given you know country to establish their own nation state and of course you know minority nationalities were to be either ignored or or killed off eventually exactly so, you know, the, that's the that's the problem this nation state you know paradigm you know format so that has to be it has to be bypassed you know there has to be you know like a multinational federation of uh of peoples living in the same society yes and the society doesn't belong to any one group of people anymore exactly. it doesn't belong exactly. to any one that, class that has, that has to end exactly yeah yeah that has to end. it has to end that that idea i would say in any society has to end because you have in it the basis for a lot of problems. Well, it's, it's, it's for us, not for you. Well, hold on a second, dude. Like, I actually live here too. And my mom and dad here, here my kids and my brothers, and all my friends, I live here too. What rights do I have? Well, the right, the right, the rights we give you. Oh, fuck that noise. I see my way to hell with that. Yeah. I, yeah. I, I, I'm, I'm hoping that movement could get some, I mean, if, if a movement like that could get some ground in Israel, all countries of the world, there's hope that other countries can take it up because yeah. this 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 whole we're we're, ma we're majority and you're the so and so and we're, and we're yeah. gonna rule over you culturally no 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 yeah that yeah. just can't work that just can't work yeah. anyway so yeah, what's see, what's happened what's happened with with um with with, with your trial in, in your situation oh, um the latest uh, court hearing was suspended you know because my lawyer had COVID and he couldn't prepare a uh, a mm -hmm. submission to make a constitutional defense so mm -hmm. that uh, we could argue that the uh, that the accusation of criminal mischief you know was unconstitutional because it violated the freedom of expression and and was you know like uh, uh you know uh, next to nothing you know in terms of you know what uh, the poster costs you know two dollars and one cent so um so that's going to be coming up later on you know we're going to have uh, set a date you know for a constitutional confrontation with the uh wow with the with the uh with the zionists you know and you know teach him a lesson that this is not israel you know like here we actually have you know constitutional rights and we're going to win that so that's that you know uh but uh tomorrow we're going to be having a you know a informational picket line of vigil again and uh we've got the uh, petitions set up uh asking jewish people to sign you know a petition denouncing the uh the zionist leadership and calling for a ceasefire in the name of jewish people i don't expect that we're going to get a lot of signatures but you know the signatures that we do get are going to be the hardcore people and we're going to build a movement out of those people you know I, i'm 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 not interested in you know playing around you know with uh with people who uh are not sure whether or not you know they're anti-Zionist or not, or, or or don't even know what Zionism is, you know, like they can catch up later on. You know, what we need now is you know hardcore people who are Bundists and who are willing to call call down the Zionist regime. That's what right. we're going to begin with here now. Very good, very good, very good. That's what we need: the hard hardcore call down the Zionist regime here and now, right now. We got we have to build that core. Yeah. Yeah. And it's going to be international, you know, like uh, it started here in Montreal, but, you know, Sandra Codero, who's, you know, Chilean militant here, living in exile, she contacted, you know, the South American movements. And all of a sudden now, you know, like we have, you know, a branch in Chile, another branch in uh, Venezuela, and uh, Brazil was an old branch, you know, uh, that we have to, you know, make contact with again, you know, so we're going to form an international movement together with other anti-Zionists who are not, you know, not uh, dumb enough to fall for an, some assimilationist trip and have actually have a Jewish identity. And we're going to form an international movement and, um, and move into a conference, a uh, Zoom conference. And and this petition is going to, you know, be the uh, mechanism by which, you know, we can form an international movement to take on the, the Zionist movement, which is already organized internationally. So we have to be organized internationally in order to combat, you know, the Zionist movement itself. And then we can begin to take... Uh, take this in, onto a serious level but we've tried to form an international jewish you know congress before you know but the one state you know um people who are usually ex peers they wouldn't work you know with the bund with the bundist chapters you know they kept on ignoring us you know and we have you know uh, uh a, a common you know um uh, group and and email lists and all that you know but they refuse to sort of you know collaborate so well. you know 
we have to go around them. We have to do a detour right around them, you know, and get to the, you know, the real people, you know, who are really serious about this and not interested in the, you know, ideological, you know, manipulations like that. So, you know, that's a, <clears throat> a problem to overcome, but I think that we can do that now. And now we're taking initiative, you know, to do that on an international level. There you go. Well, um, if I might just say something to this, I had a similar situation occur in, in the United States. I'm not going to go into too much detail, but there were some groups at a meeting and one group had an issue with part of the Palestinian resistance, but they still were opposed to the occupation. They're mm -hmm. opposed to the occupation. They're opposed to the bombing. They want to have an organizational fight against Israel's uh, oppression. They wanted to demonstrate, okay? But they were there. There was there. There's certain thing that they didn't like. Well, guess what? They kicked them out of the group. I said, "Wait a minute." <laughs> yeah, you know, you yeah, see, get lost. Yeah. You know, we, yeah. right. we have so no time to waste is, with you. Yeah, there's a war yeah, happening. Yeah. Right, yeah. right. What, what I'm saying is that there is a war happening, and the bomb. That even though they drop drop the wrong bombs, we dropped <laughs> the wrong bombs. Yeah. They still kill. They still kill women and the children. Right. Okay. Yeah. So the point is. If you want to fight, get in the get get on the get on the train. Let's go. We're not. Yeah. I mean, you know, I'm I, I'm just, all 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 of the nonsense is not what we need. Like you said, we need the hardcore who want to get this thing done. Let's sit down. Let's agree on our principles and let's 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 get busy. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, it's it find it incredible. You know that uh, even uh, a lot of the Jewish opposition, like the J Street, you know, movement in the United States. Yeah, and Chase Street, yeah. Canada. You know, these yeah. people still believe, you know, the lies about the horror stories, you know, that the that the Hamas committed, you know, like mass atrocities, mass raping of women, um, mass killing of, uh, you know, kibbutzim, okay. you know, and all this sort of thing, you know, like they still believe that stuff. It's incredible, you know, the hold that Zionism yeah. has on people's minds, you know, even in yeah. the opposition. It's yeah. it's on phantom, on oh, it's incredible, yeah. But, so, but, uh, but may I, may I, and this is something I don't normally do, um, Dr. Vice Phil. Let me play the devil's advocate. Let's say that everything that they said is true. Hmm. It isn't. You and I know it isn't. We know it's not true. Would that still justify killing 20,000 people? No. No, no. That's why I put well, the I'm slogan. Saying, I'm talking about that's why I'm saying this. You yeah, can I mean, believe the painting, what you want to uh, believe. You can believe what you want to believe. Okay, yeah. I believe that twenty five thousand people are dead. I believe that the water's been cut off. I believe the electricity's been cut off. I believe the food been cut off. I believe there yeah. ain't no hospitals. Do you believe yeah. that? Okay, yeah. if you believe that, then you can believe what you want. Let's let's take care of that. If y'all want to take care of that over there, that's fine. Take care of that over there. If you really believe that, then go for it, brother. But if say you yeah. believe this, then let's go for this over here. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> That's what, um, you know, my painting was all about, you know, saying, you know, one Holocaust does not justify another. For so those who actually that. believed, you know, what October the 7th, you know, was a Holocaust, you know, like, even if you believe that, you know, like, how can you support, you know, another Holocaust that's worse than what you're complaining about? So, no, yeah. you know, yeah. like, this has got to crack up, you know, the, this is all has to come to the surface. They're going to become yes. aware of all of this, you know, and we're going to be there to say, listen, we know what to do about it, you know, and you have to support us now because you have been misled, and 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 we know what to do, and we need right. your help, you know, you know and, right. and it's time, you know, that you you know provided that help, right. and speak up, you know. So this is what yeah. this petition is about. So, how, um, how is your how is your 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 fundraising going? Is any money? Uh, I, I have to, you know, do some fundraising, you know, to pay for the lawyer who, first of all, got me out of prison. Okay. And, uh, and you know, for all the other stuff that's coming up, you know, there. So um, there is a, a pledge, you know, to to, to to donate for him, you know, but um, otherwise we've been receiving some small donations. But the most important donation was this here. This is wonderful. This is a body cam, you know, professional type, you know, that that the cops, you know, like usually oh, are supposed yeah, to wear. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, Except yeah, yeah, they, yeah. you know, they don't spend money on this. They spend money on, you know, like a bigger tanks or something, you know, like this thing, right. you know, records everything with a 140 degree, you know, view, you know, everything in front of it, you know, and, you know, it's crystal clear and then the audio is crystal clear. And I was, you know, very fortunate to be wearing this, you know, because uh, the first day that I wore it, you know, there was a driver, I think it was a woman even, you know, 
who swerved in my direction trying to hit, you know, my painting, you know, saying, you know, one Holocaust does not, you know, justify another. I think she's trying to hit it, you know, with a mirror on the side of her vehicle. Or she's trying to hit me, you know, but I've got it on video. And I have to, you know, send it into the police, you know, and say, look, there's, you know, like a license plate, you know, viewed, you know, on this car leaving the scene. And I want to know if this is, uh, you know, considered to be a violation. And so that'll be the second, you know, uh, threat or attempt, you know, to do me harm. Can so we... the first one, you know, is is filed as a as an event, you know, with an event number with the police, and they're investigating it. And that guy, you know, is the the most serious concern. So you know, at least they're going to scare the guy off, you know, so that he knows that he can't get away with what he was threatening. So you know, th that sort of stuff is happening as well. Well, as far as the body cam, can we one day put in in the description the name, the brand, how much it costs, or you know, so because this sounds like something we, that we need to be wearing. Oh yeah, a demonstrator like, should have like, this. Like, you know, a, a, this a lot of us have, have have we have cell phones. We have to hold the phone. The body cam is on you, so it's, it's, it's not like coming off. You know, it's it's kind of hooked up to a recording device. And everything. It sounds pretty cool to me. Plus, we're the ones that made the cops wear them. We made the cops wear this shit. We made yeah. them get this on the cops. So my we so we need to use the technology for us. Yeah. Why not? Yeah. And then, yeah. but that's the one to ask you, Abraham, is about is there if if if, if in the future is there, if there's a an, a an address, a Venmo address, a bank account, somewhere people can send money to help with legal costs. I think we should allow uh, encourage people to to make to make donations. Um. Okay. In uh, in the description, yeah. I'll put in uh, the uh, email address to which. Uh, you know, uh, there can be an electronic transfer made to the uh, email address. There you uh, go. I think that's called Interact. I, I think, you know, every bank has that sort of thing now. Here it's called Interact. Okay, sounds good. Yeah, so I'll put the uh, email address in that, you know, that uh, donations can be sent into. And uh, and people can designate, designate their, any donations as well, you know, because right. I can, you know... Uh, divert donations for Palestine to Nablus, you know, to the resistance, you know, like civil society resistance, you know, in Nablus. We have a link there that I've set up, you know, with the uh, with the comrades of the Tanwir Palestinian Cultural Enlightenment Forum. If people want to donate, you know, to the Palestinians directly there, well, I can do that too. There you go. Okay. Okay. Good. Okay. So uh, we'll put this up and uh, we'll continue, you know. I I'm sorry. I, 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 I sound so... Uh, down, you know, like a defeatist, you know, because I am. No, you don't. You know, you don't. Okay. Yeah, no, you, you know, you don't. You no, you you sound, you sound like a soldier, a soldier on on uh, on the front lines. Yeah, on duty. Yeah, that's what it is. Yeah. Okay, on I'll duty. be there tomorrow. Okay, and uh, right, the uh, the body cam videos. You know, people can can also do body cam. You know, like on Facebook, you can do live body cam. You know, which is what I was doing before, okay. uh, which is not as good. You know, like high definition and. Uh, and the and the and the sound quality, you know, can vary. Uh, but uh, you know, that's another way of doing. You know, when I was first arrested, I had a body cam with my, you know, uh, uh, a mobile phone, you know, broadcasting on uh, on Facebook. So uh, it can be done that way as well. You know, but everybody should, you know, be doing that. You know, because it's a way of multiplying any demonstration. You know, everybody should be online. You know, while they're at the demonstration, they're broadcasting right. to the whole world. You know right. what they're doing. Right. 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 Exactly. 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 Agreed. Very good. Okay. Thank you, Steve. All right. All power. Yeah.